And I find this, that people discover extraordinary talents within themselves that they wouldn't otherwise know unless the opportunity is presented to them. And that's really at the heart of the Oklahoma Creativity Project. It's creating conditions where people will discover things about themselves they didn't know and creating possibilities they hadn't imagined. For News OK, I'm Dave Morris, downtown Oklahoma City, the Cox Convention Center today, the site of the State of Creativity Forum. It's the third annual event. Hosted by Bart Connor and Jennifer Riddles this morning, we heard music from Jared Tate, and we heard the wonderful Sir Ian Robinson, who's always funny to listen to, dropping knowledge about creativity. We heard from Desmond Mason and others talking about creativity, what keeps them going, and how Oklahoma fits into all this. We're pleased and excited to have you here. The Chickasaw Nation is excited to be part of Creative Oklahoma and proud to celebrate the spirit of innovation and creativity. It's a great pleasure for me to join you here on stage, Jennifer, and to be with all of you today as well. This marks our third annual Creativity Forum. You may have noticed a name change this year to the State of Creativity Forum. It's our goal that this forum be used as a model of creativity and shared with other communities around the world who share the desire to foster the conversation about creativity. So today we are here to learn how to weave the threads of creativity for a more innovative society. Someone who's been very instrumental in helping us weave these threads is a dear friend of ours and a friend of Creative Oklahoma. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Sir Ken Robinson. Creativity is a step on. Creativity is putting your imagination to work. It's a very practical thing. You have to be doing something to be creative. And it's a process we can facilitate, support, and nurture. Innovation is putting good ideas into practice. And as Jennifer and Bart said, you can't go straight to innovation. You have to go via imagination and creativity, which is what this initiative across Oklahoma is about. At the moment, it is people who have ideas. This is the important thing to recognize. I say that tools offer all kinds of extensive and extended capacities, but they don't to themselves generate creative thinking. That's what we do with the use of the tools, and great tools facilitate fresh sorts of ideas. The music we heard wouldn't have been possible without the instruments, but the instruments couldn't have done it on their own. It's a, it's a conversation between discipline, technology, and human ingenuity, and skill and discipline. What is it you get, if you can describe it, from your work as an artist that's different from or complementary to your experience as an athlete? You know, I'm a little bit of a different artist. I, I go into a lot of different directions on a daily basis. Um, I was trained in a lot of realism, a lot of still lifes and landscapes. And uh, so about 2004, I transitioned over to abstract expressionism after watching the movie Pollock. And, uh, you know, from there I just stayed very versatile. I, I was kind of all over the map. Um, but what art done for me, especially in my years in basketball, that travel schedule, as we were talking about with Jesse in the back, the travel schedule, uh, just the, the vigorous practices and so on and so forth, it was a way to step away from the game. Jesse, when did you start composing? Um, I, I would say seriously composing about ten, ten years ago. Um, uh, you know, I, I've done I mean, seriously as a seriously composing as opposed to what? Well, uh, I guess full time every day, um, and I, you know, I was able to do that because I, I started um, teaching music. And for many here, don't know that's the great pleasure of an innovation strategy. You never quite know what you're going to get, and the opportunity is to grasp it when you see it. 